And one. All right. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the 95.5 WTVY Couch Concert Series being brought to you by Witch Witch, uh, Highway 82 West in Dothan, Alabama. They have a new menu they're going to be unveiling next week. All new treats, all new sandwiches, some of your favorites from the past. It's going to be great. We are joined tonight by somebody who is so great. She has three names. Paige <laughs> King Johnson. It's is King your middle name, Paige? It is. And you have absolutely no idea how many times people ask me, they're like, is King really your middle name or is it just something you made up? I'm thinking, do people really make up middle names for themselves? <laughs> like, is that a thing that they do? I don't <laughs> it is my middle name. Uh, was that like your mom or your dad's, uh, like some, somebody, your grandma's name or something? It was my grandmother's maiden name. And so here you are, you have all three names, and you're from Cary, North Carolina. Uh, well, outside, of, it's called Anger, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I lived in North Carolina briefly many years ago. I lived in Greensboro, just up the yeah. road from Raleigh. Yeah. So we probably crossed each other, and I was like, you know, that girl looks like she's going to be a star one day. There she goes. I wonder if her middle name is King. <laughs> Where are you joining us from tonight? I'm actually here in North Carolina. Um, I actually just got back from Alabama last week. I was down in Huntsville playing some shows. Oh, that's like 400 miles away. You were nowhere yeah, near us. That's like when people say, oh, you're in North Carolina. Is Asheville close to you? I'm thinking, no, it's six hours away. Right. But I was in Alabama last weekend um, and doing some work in Nashville throughout the week last week and uh, flew back into North Carolina on monday night i feel like i don't know what day it is but <laughs> we all know we're, we're all kind of getting into where now we're just figuring out what day of the week it is again because for a year it was just a big blur oh yeah and, and now things are kind of getting back to normal as uh the uh the pandemic kind of is uh subsiding do you uh find yourself busier these days and you have more things on your plate than you did the last 12 months absolutely for sure and um <laughs> you know, I feel like I spent all last year thinking, gosh, I just, I miss it, being able to do everything. I just wish so badly I would have something to do. And now as things are opening up and people are getting shots and everything and, um, you know, they're finding safe ways to be able to do events. It's like things are coming at me at 90 miles an hour on both sides. And I'm going, oh gosh, <laughs> I asked for too much. <laughs> Now, I was uh, checking you out online. You've actually done a couple of events, these socially distanced concerts. Is that awkward to try to stay away from the fans when you're singing? I mean, yes, because I'm a people person as well. Like whenever we finally get to meet in person, you will realize I'm a hugger. I'm a person who will get all up in your face just to talk to you. And so it's um, it's definitely like I feel like I need a straight jacket now that I am at, back out in public because I just want to go up and you know, get to know all these people and shake their hands and, you know, get to see all their kids and everything else. So it's, um, it's definitely a learning curve for the, you know, uh, I hate to say it, but the new normal of figuring out how to do shows in this kind of time. And, you know, thankfully we can get out and we can play and do everything, but it's definitely a little weird. Well, do you think we could hear a song from you and then get to know you a little more? Absolutely. What kind of mood are we feeling that we're in tonight? Uh, let's see. It's a good Friday. So uh, we got a, the weather down here in South Alabama is supposed to be nice and beautiful and clear. So maybe something peppy, something snappy to start things off. Okay. I can do that. Um, this is a song I actually wrote, I think, maybe back in January. But... Y'all be the first to know that I just got out of the studio with this song. So hopefully it's coming to you very soon. This song is called American Beauty. She drives and don't know where she's going. Steps out into the wide open. She's not like the other girl she knows. She goes out every other Friday and tries to be like everybody. But she hopes growing up won't take too long. American Beauty, just like a movie star of the show. You don't have to know yet, just keep going. Pretty soon the whole world. 
Great job. Now, do you, everybody has a song in them. I think everybody has at least one hit in them, but they don't know what to do with it. And a lot of times they can't translate it from what's in their head to writing it down. Uh, do you find and have you found that most of your life songs have always been kind of coming into your mind and one day you started writing them down or is this something that's been kind of hit you late in life or what? I actually didn't start writing songs until I moved to Nashville, which was five and a half years ago. Um, I started playing guitar when I was 10 years old and I just, I spent a lot of my childhood, um, recreating the sounds that I heard on my radio and sounds that I heard on the, the CDs that my parents were playing. And so, um, I didn't quote unquote find my voice as a songwriter until, uh, I was about 18 when I moved to college. So what were some of your favorite uh, singers growing up that you would imitate on the guitar? Well, my number one hero forever and always is Miss Loretta Lynn. Um, I just love her songwriting and how she can tell a story that's so raw and real and relatable, but tell it in a, a funny way or a way that doesn't make it sound as harsh as what the reality may be. And um, so she, she made the song, she made Growing Up in Butcher Holler sound great. And if you think of the lyrics of that, it's like what a horrible childhood she must have had, but she made it sound good. I know she can do anything. Honestly, that woman is amazing in so many ways. But so she was my number one. And I grew up listening to a lot of classic country music. Um, my parents were huge fans of Waylon Jennings and Merle Haggard and Loretta Lynn and Dolly Parton and all that kind of stuff. So I have a very old soul when it comes to listening to music. Um, but when I got to choose it myself, I grew up in the 90s. So, you know, all of that stuff with Trisha Yearwood and Reba McIntyre and George Strait and Clint Black, that was very evident throughout my growing up too. How did you hook up with Pam Tillis? Funny enough, um, somebody that I, people that I work with in Nashville, um, my team, they, one of the members in there is, has been good friends with Pam for a very, very long time. And he's always kind of mentioned, you know, oh, Pam might be a good resource to reach out to for, you know, writing songs or for, for consulting or whatever, just to talk to a mentor or two. And um, I always just kind of kept it in the back of my head, but I never try to hype myself up about anything because if it doesn't happen, I don't want to be let down. And so I never really, um, I never really got my expectations up. And then whenever I wrote my current single, Just Like You, um, we were getting to the part where we were looking to create a music video for it and everything. And um, Bernard, my, my team member, he was like, well, maybe this is the right time to bring Pam in. Let me just send her the song and see if she likes it. 
Um, and so he sent it to her and she called him like ASAP after she got, she goes, I love this song. I love this girl. Never met her before, but I want to be part of it. Whatever it takes, I'm in. And so, um, wow, she, you know, I'm jealous. I love Pam Tillis. You know, you mentioned the nineties and Trisha Yearwood and all that. That was the uh, decade of the women of country. And yes. she had a song called, I said a prayer. And that was like one of my all time favorite songs. And uh, I love Pam. She was on Nashville for a couple of seasons. Do you yeah. sing any Pam? Can you do some Pam for us? Oh, absolutely. Um, can I make it? Can I? Can I request any Pam Tillis song ever? Uh, I mean, you can. I don't know that I can do it for you. I'm not, <laughs> well, I can I'm sing. Not, you just play the guitar. <laughs> I'm not the pristine Pam Tillis karaoke machine. But give us any Pam. This is Paige King Johnson. I can do that for you. Looking at you through a misty moonlight, Katie did sing like a symphony. A porch swing swaying like a Tennessee lullaby, melody blowing through the willow tree. Well, what was I supposed to do? Standing there looking at you. Lonely boy far from home Well maybe it was Memphis Maybe it was southern summer nights Maybe it was you Maybe it was me But it sure feel right I read about you in a Faulkner novel I met you once in a Williams play I heard about you love song, summer night beauty took my breath away. What was I supposed to do? Standing there looking at you, only boy far from home. Maybe it was Memphis, maybe it was Southern summer nights, maybe it was you, maybe it was me, but it sure felt right. Every night now since I've been back on my life away drifting memories I think about you on your mama's front porch laying talking that away so soft to me what was I supposed to do? Standing there looking at you. Lonely boy far from home. Maybe it was Memphis. Maybe it was Southern summer nights. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was me, but it sure felt right. Maybe it was Memphis. Maybe it was Southern Now, we're talking with Paige King Johnson on the Couch Concert Series. This new track, Watered Down the Whiskey, it just came out, I think, early February. It's getting mad views. Do a little Google search on it. That's about a, is that about a breakup? Or is every, yeah. And so when you sing a song like that, and I want you to sing it in a minute, do you, does your mind go back to the original reason why you wrote it? Or is that at some point you forget about that and you just concentrate on the song? Um. I feel like at this point, it's not as much a reminder. I mean, so as a songwriter, I feel like we write songs as a therapeutic way to get stuff out of the way if the song that we're writing is based on a true story. And so for me, if I ever am writing a song that is based on semi-true story or past experiences, once I write it, I feel like that has gotten it all out for me. And so I never really feel like at least with bad experiences. I never feel like they come bubbling back up again whenever I play them after I've written them and gotten everything out on the 
out on the piece of paper. <laughs> and if you're going to have a heartbreak, at least you can make a few bucks off it, right? Yeah, you know? That is right. Can we hear that water down the whiskey? Absolutely. It's the new track from Paige King Johnson. This is for all y'all who are going through a heartbreak right now. When we go out, your eyes don't stay on me like they used to. And the way your head turned when she ordered straight jack was a shame. Well, it's been coming on for some time. I'm seeing the signs that you've been seeing. But I'm telling you right now, I ain't playing this game. There ain't no use in watering down the whiskey. Does the guy who you wrote that song about know you wrote that song about him? Um, well, there's a little bit of truth in that song, but part of it was just a semi. I got to flex my my guns as a songwriter in that song and just kind of make up the story. I mean, I feel like we've all kind of had a bad experience in some sort of breakup in our life at some point. And so... I've had a lot. Yeah, yeah. Raise your hand if you've ever been offended by a breakup. <laughs> but when I break up, I don't get to write good songs. I just say a lot of things I regret later. <laughs> Maybe you should start. Um, I should probably do that. Put a note um, by your bed and just get all the anger out by that. Uh, you wouldn't want to hear the, the things I say in a song, that's for sure. So it's. Uh, I read that you were, a, a, is it a three-time nominee for South Carolina, North Carolina yeah. Artist of the Year? Which Carolina are we talking yeah. about? North Carolina. Okay, the uh, North Carolina. Yeah, the Carolina Country Music Awards. Yeah, and so who beat you? And how do we, uh, how do we get them on the Couch Concert Series? <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, I won this year. This was uh, the first year yeah. that I won, and... Um, it was just, it was such a cool experience. I mean, I feel like it's kind of cheesy to say, you know, it's always an honor just to be nominated, blah, 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 blah. But it truly is. I mean, to, to know that people appreciate your music enough and that 
they value you as an artist enough that they would even consider you, you know, to be in the run in for things. It's always just been a really cool thing to find out I've been nominated over the past three or four years. And um, so, and like I told you, I never try to get my hopes up about anything. So I went into this year just the same as I always do of, you know, I'm just glad to be up here with all these other lovely ladies, the lovely gentlemen, whatever. And um, whenever I actually got awarded, <laughs> those awards this year it was just icing on top of the cake and so it's a really cool thing but you know i i take it as it is and i'd say okay i have to keep making good music and i have to make sure that i can get back up there the next year so well Can't there's a lot of great talent that comes out of the carolinas you got uh you got parmalee you got darius rucker you got eric church so there's a lot of talent out there in the carolinas so it's good to see more of that so i have requested three songs so far. I'm going to let you pick the next one. This is your pick, Paige King Johnson. Oh, I'm going to slow it down a little bit here. We're going to bring the house down a little bit. This is where the lights come down. Everybody chills out a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. A little mood lighting. Um, this is a song that I wrote during the beginning of quarantine last year and uh sometimes songs kind of take a little bit to to ease into your soul and become one of your favorites and this one it was kind of that but um it's become one of my favorites and we're we're one month away from mother's day so why not play it i wrote this song about my mama it's called she holds this house together Most morning she's up before the sun even thinks about rising. Gets the breakfast going and the laundry out for drying. Makes a cup of coffee, finds her favorite front porch spot. And has a few minutes with the Lord before the crazy starts. She keeps this family running like a well-oiled machine And never asks for anything It's not just the boards and the floors, the hinges on the doors and nails and the walls that keep this place from falling it's not just the windows in the rooms, the shingles on the roof, the bricks and stones that give this place its bones. She might deny it, but we all know that she holds this house together. She's always got a shoulder when you need one to lean on. And you can bet she'll stay up late waiting for you to come home. If she's a wife and a mother and everything in between, she makes it all look easy. Though it's harder than it seems It's not just the boards and the floors The hinges on the doors and nails And the walls that keep this place from falling It's not just the windows in the rooms The shingles on the roof The bricks and stones That give this place its bones She might deny it But we all know better she holds this house together. For her, it's second nature, never feels like a heavy load. Even when the foundation cracks and the weeds start to grow. It's not just the boards and the floors, the hinges on the doors and nails and the walls that keep this place from falling. It's not just the windows and the rooms, the shingles on the roof, the bricks and stones that give this place its bones. She might deny it, but we all know better. 
She holds this house together. She holds this house together. She holds this house together. Does your mom cry when she hears that song? <laughs> uh, I don't know that I've ever seen her shed a tear, but my mom is not a crier. Because oh, I am. I'm about to. And uh, Please don't. Or you're. Your YouTube page has a, a, a nice backlog of, of uh, older songs. So the good thing about the uh, the Internet now, you put a song up there and it's up there forever. Have you noticed like when you'll do a show, people are singing songs. You have no idea how they know it. And you're like, oh, yeah, I posted that a few years ago. Yeah, 100 percent. And I'm, and really the sad part is that I mean, I write so many songs all the time that if they're years ago, it's yeah. just like, OK, I don't know the words of that song, but you do. So yeah. <laughs> you can sing it if you can. <laughs> now you sing it. Now you sing the rest of it because I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Where can we find you? Give us all of your contact information. Yes, yeah, so I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, they're all just Paige King. And my website is pagekingjohnson.com. All right. We have time for one more song. I want to thank you for joining us on the Couch Concert Series. Wish you a happy Easter. Thanks for spending time with us on Good Friday. Say hey to Pam Tillis if you run into her. Tell her Johnny says hey, and I'm a huge fan. I'm a fangirl of Pam, all right? I'm a total girl for Pam Tillis. I am total girl for Pam Tillis. And uh, I'm becoming a girl for you, too. You've sung some great songs tonight. I like the insight. I like the writing aspect of it. And uh, we should all follow you on Facebook. And next time you come to Alabama... Come down to South Alabama. We'd love to meet you. Listen, I'm going to be in Montgomery in a couple of weeks, so maybe I can make my way down. We would love to have you. We'll put you on the air, and uh, we'll let you sing all those sad songs about your mother that don't make your mother cry, but they make us cry. Hey, and give us, uh, <laughs> before we say goodnight, give us one more song, and then we will see you hopefully soon in person, Paige King Johnson. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate you joining us. I appreciate y'all having me. Honestly, it stinks that we can't all be together right now. And I know we're all so ready for it. But thank the Lord for the Internet and uh, me being able to virtually be in Alabama. Thank y'all for watching. Um, I'm going to play my current single. This song is called Just Like You. for an excuse to dance with somebody you love this is it ain't it just like a man to forget every birthday leave you hanging on the line wondering if he's gonna say i love you ain't it just like a man to show a play to the party Expecting you'll be ready to leave on his arms But ain't it just like you Coming in from a long, hard day Dirty hands wrapping around my waist Baby, tell me what's happened since I left this morning It ain't it just like you to be so patient even when I'm driving you crazy to know what I want to say before I think of things. It ain't it just like you to love a girl like me. It ain't it just like you to love a girl like me. Ain't it just like me to make a mess of everything? Falling apart to see how far you'll go to fix it. And ain't it just like me to ask you to up and leave your job and your mom for a new hometown just cause I'm in it? But ain't it just like you coming in from a long, hard day? Dirty hands wrapping around my waist. Baby, tell me what's happened since I left this morning. And ain't it just like you?
I'd just like for you to be so patient Even when I'm driving you crazy To do what I want to say before I think a thing It ain't it just like you To love a girl like me It ain't it just like you To love a girl like me and I hope the way you love me never changes Cause I've never felt anything like it And I'll never find anyone Just like you coming in from a long hard day Dirty hands wrapping around my waist Baby, tell me what's happened since I left this morning just like you to be so patient Even when I'm driving you crazy To know what I want to say before I think a thing It ain't it just like you To love a girl like me It ain't it just like you To love a girl like me the song is called just like you y'all can find it on anywhere you listen to music honestly spotify itunes however you listen to music i promise you can find it and there's a music video for it that like we were johnny and i were talking about that miss pam tillis directed um and that's on my youtube channel and it comes on cmt regularly so if you're a cmt watcher you can find it there but thank y'all so much for hanging out with me tonight um, I love getting to play for y'all and spend a little bit of your Friday night with you. Um, and I hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Happy Easter. Um, and hopefully I'll get to see y'all soon. Bye, y'all.